And of course, I just mentioned the winds started to seem to die down out here. And as soon as Tom started talking, we had another big gust come out here. So they're not quite done yet. I'm in Beaumont Center here in Lexington. You can see the Kroger here behind me still has power on. In fact, I just checked. They did not lose power overnight, but a lot of the homes around here in this area in Beaumont Center did lose power last night. It started about 11. That's when the power went out. And for several hours, uh, people were in the dark around here. Uh, currently, we just checked, there are 2,000 customers in Lexington that are without power right now. Now, power outages by far the biggest issue last night. We, we did mention some damage in Louisville. We have a little bit here, but the biggest issue were the power outages, and we want to keep you up to date on the numbers this morning. Let's take a look at the board. There are currently over 20,000 outages still statewide this morning. Again, that's throughout the whole state. Highest number of outages are in Jefferson County where they had some damage, but there are reported outages this morning in Bourbon, Franklin, and Spencer counties as well. Uh, stick with us throughout the morning as we track the latest outages here on LEX 18. Now, if you have a flight taken off today, good news. It seems the airport was not uh, majorly affected. Now, they did have a 56 mile per hour wind gust measured out at Bluegrass Airport last night. Uh, flights are looking good. Here's a look at the flight status board for Bluegrass Airport. Airport, as you can see, currently zero flight delays and or cancellations. Now, those strong winds overnight, again, caused a lot of power outages. They caused a lot of trees to fall around the city this morning, so there is some scattered damage. LEX 18's uh, Christiana Ford is live in the Lansdowne Drive area this morning, tracking some damage over there as we continue our Storm Tracker team coverage. Christiana, good morning to you. Yeah, that's right, Chris. The rain has stopped and the wind has died down, but this area of Lansdowne Drive in Lexington was definitely impacted by that storm last night. I just want you to take a look at one of the trees that are down in this area. This branch completely or almost completely broken off right here. Looks like it may be able to rebury this tree because it just came out just a little bit, but we believe these trees were freshly planted um, as a part of the ongoing debate. Um, that was happening with Kentucky Utilities and some of the neighbors in this area surrounding the trees in this area. So this is a fresh tree. But we're also noticing that there are power outages in this area past the Dairy Queen. Um, the post office's power is out. Some of the apartment buildings, their power is out. We have some down trash cans. Um, and crews have been working overnight to fix some of these issues. Um, but this also is an area that, um, you know, Crews have been working in overnight and they um, are working to restore power, but it's truly a show of force of how strong that storm was last night. Back to you.